Hey, all my Code Red drinking, first-person shooting sysadmins, it's electionpdq.com. I'm going to take you through the ever-popular install step. Um, now, the install step, we're building a new package. Let's just go jump into it. We're going to grab the install step. Now, the great thing about the install step is many things you can run here. And when I say run them, you just got to select the file that you're going to use. So, here's the list. Okay, you can run a MSI, an EXE, a batch file, a PowerShell script, a registry edit file, and if you want to flash back to the 90s, you can even run a VB script. So, let's just kind of run through these so you can see what's actually happening uh, on the back end when these get run. So, let's start with the MSI file. Select your MSI file. There it is. Because of the MSI extension, we know that this is going to be an install. Don't restart. And of course, do this quietly in the background. If you need to add parameters, once again, there's your parameter line and it will get pinned those parameters to the end of that command, which you see right down here. Okay. Now, next, let's jump into the also popular EXE. Set up EXE, install EXE. Now, those are going to be vendor specific. You need to find the silent parameters for these. You're going to have to do some Google foo to get that. Um, I just happened to pick up and search for install 7-zip silently. If you start scanning through here, how can I install 7-zip in silent mode? You need a front slash capital S. All right, now I do believe case sensitivity is important. So whatever they tell you to do, the vendor level, you're going to want to do here. So you're going to put that front slash capital S saying that if this was 7-zip on the parameter line, you'll notice right down here, it's running the install exe with the front slash S appended to the end. You can add as many as those as you want. Yeah, Lex rules, but Lex can't type. So you see how that gets appended to the end there? All right. Now, let's take a look at the batch file, .bat. Okay, you'll notice we're running command exe, front slash s, front slash c, and then the name of your batch file. Pretty simple there. If you wanted to add parameters, again, stick them on the parameter line, it will append to the end. Um, PowerShell script, PS1. Notice it's calling PowerShell, no logo, so on and so forth. That's a really long line. You should read that. Okay, basically it's just saying, run the PowerShell, giving the credentials, wrapping it, saying it's okay to run that on a remote machine in the command line there. So, something might be fun to read. I'm not going to read it for you, though. Um, let's see. Uh, PowerShell script. Uh, registry and edit file. REG file. Okay, so this you want to make registry entries. Okay, REG, EXE, front slash S. That's going to put that. Obviously, make an adjustment to your registry. And then finally, Visual Basic script, VBS. Surprise, surprise, call C script, front slash B, and the name of your script. So that's how those are running in the background. Okay, takeaways from this, guys. Silent parameters, they have to have them. they got to be able to run silent. You can't expect end users to click through stuff, so it's got to be silent, okay? Parameters, in most all cases, are added here, okay? Unless you've got an MSI, and then you look at your MSI options, okay? It works really slick and really cool. So that's your install step. Uh, oh, by the way, let's just say you were doing, um, like, a setup EXE. You were installing, like, off a, Microsoft Office, and you needed to add additional files. This gets, you can either add them individually here with the ellipsis here, or you can add the entire directory. You notice this directory has 18 files and 111 megabytes. Obviously that's not Office, but you can see that's where you do that so you can reference the additional files. So takeaways from that are uh, silent parameters on the parameter line, add the files individually if you need them, add the entire directory if you need it, and uh, you know, you're off to the races, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.